All right. Hey there, baseball fans. Um, Ryan Dempster here, MLB Network Analyst, a former Major League Baseball player. So, last night, I was uh, surfing the Twitterverse, and I saw big-time Cub fan Roy Wood Jr. out there doing a little thing on pitch grips. And it got me to thinking, he sparked something in my head, and it got me to thinking about, we're in this time right now where we're social distancing and we're a lot of people are staying at home um, doing the things they need to do to be safe. And now there are a lot of kids out there who want to be playing baseball and they can't be playing baseball. But that doesn't mean we can't be learning skills and learning things that we can do right in the comfort of our own home and in a bedroom. And I'm going to go with Roy Wood Jr. on this. And I'm going to do some pitch grips right now for the kids out there. Tinker with them. They always talk about feel as a pitcher. Um, and it starts with your fingers in your hand and the baseball in your hand. So when you're lying at bed, um, when you're sitting on the couch, uh, when, you're, when you're just kind of chilling and relaxing, put a baseball in your hand and feel that baseball um, and get comfortable with it and tinker with different things to make it more comfortable in your hand. So I'll give you a couple basic grips here. There's a four seam fastball, right? The reason we call it the four seam fastball, because as that ball spins, we catch one, two, three, four seams at you. So that's straight across there. Some guys hold it across the middle. It's all what's comfortable with you, and that's the most important thing. Secondly, two seam fastball right there, straight across the two seams, and that's because we get the one and the two. Some guys will throw a two seam fastball and they'll hook their thumb underneath, come in there like that. Some guys will go like that. Some people will move it up this way for a little bit more movement. For me, I threw a slider. My slider, I took my four seam fastball, and then I just came across the side of it just like that. And then all I do is throw that like a fastball and then just uh, have that pressure on this finger right here. Now just play with it. Sit there and figure out what feels comfortable to you. Does my finger there feel comfortable there? Does it feel more comfortable there? Some guys will throw a slider on that part of the baseball. It's all about your own comfort with the baseball. That's the most important thing. And lastly, for me, I wasn't a changeup guy. I tried so many different changeups in my career. I'm walking out in the backfield when the great Hall of Famer Ferguson Jenkins at Ho-Ho-Cam, um, I asked him, Fergie, how'd you throw a changeup? You had a good changeup. He said, I threw it like this. So what he did was he took a split grip like that and he moved his fingers up on the ball like that. So he almost creates like a circle change aspect right there and then his hands up there. Now, this was a tough one for me. It came out really nice the first bullpens I threw and everything was good. But this was a tough grip for me to kind of hone and, and um, make it feel comfortable because I don't have big, huge fingers that the ball could just fit in there like Fergie does. So what I actually did was my first off season driving home um, to Colorado from Chicago was I would drive down the road with this grip in my hand. I know I should probably be 10 and two on the steering wheel, but on those long stretches of highways, I would put the ball in my hand and just sit with it and make it feel comfortable so that I felt comfortable with the ball in my hand. Um, there you have it. These are just some things you can do at home when you're messing around, playing with the baseball in your room, um, get a chance. Because remember, it's not always about throwing or hitting or being out on the baseball field. Some of the most important things I've learned as a young, young kid and as a teenager, um, getting ready to live out my aspirations of being a major league baseball player. We're in the comforts of my own home. We're in a bedroom. We're in the garage. Places there that I could just do things. So I'm going to try and do this every day for you guys. Uh, there's the first one, pitch grips. Thanks, Roy Wood Jr. for the, for the uh, brainstorm idea. And I uh, hope everyone's staying safe, washing your hands, and we'll see you guys soon.